G'day Virtual Pilots, it's Requiem. Today's video we're going to look at the dive bombing technique in the Junkers 88 using the contact altimeter. The contact altimeter is an adjustable altimeter where you set a desired bomb release altitude during your dive bombing attack. You can adjust the release altitude with two keys. Right shift and K will increase the release altitude and right control K will decrease the altitude. During the attack with about 300 meters prior to the set release altitude, a horn will begin sounding and then at the release altitude the horn will stop. This is your cue to release your bombs which will begin the automatic dive recovery. This graphic on the left side of the cockpit, this will show you the dive angles to use in the Junkers 88. As you pitch over for the dive, you can align any of these lines with the horizon to produce the dive angle you want, however, 60 degrees will be optimal. So if you're bombing at 60 degrees, the ideal target position is going to be towards the bottom of the revy, around about the fourth tick mark, and this will be between 70 to 80 mils down. When dive bombing in the Junkers 88 with the contact altimeter, your altitude will be between 3,000 and 5,000 meters above the ground, and your contact altimeter will be set in mean sea level as desired. Your bomb settings, you can set those as you like as well to control how many bombs you release and at what frequency, and your cow shutters will be closed. As you approach the target, you bring the throttle back and bring the RPM back to minimum to prevent any overspeeding during the dive, and then you extend the dive brakes. This will cause the automatic system to begin nosing the airplane over and you hope to finish in a 60 degree dive angle. During the dive the horn will start sounding. This will tell you you have 250 meters until you arrive at your release altitude. So when the horn stops, this is when you're going to release the bombs and the automatic system is going to start the recovery and you can retract the dive brakes and get away. In this diving attack with the Junkers 88, I'm carrying four 500 kilogram bombs externally. So I'm going to make sure I drop them all at once while pressing left Windows B and then I'm going to change the bomb interval to half a second uh, with left Control B. And this way I'll create a spread lengthways along the target. So coming back on the cockpit, it's going to be much easier to steer towards the target in the Junkers 88 uh, simply because we've got this nice big windscreen in front of us so we can simply look through this and steer towards our target. And my goal is going to be to line up the target in the left frame of this windscreen. So zooming in a bit, this is the target area, and my initial target is going to be that bottom building in the sequence of buildings there. So I keep turning towards the target, I'm going to make sure that contact altimeter is set. I close up the cow shutters on the engines, this way we're going to prevent any kind of overcooling. And here we see the target's roughly aligned in the middle of this panel, which is where I want it to be, because it's going to need to be lined up at the revy as I begin the dive slight course correction and then my visual cue to start the dive is when the target touches the bottom horizontal part of the frame here and that's when I'm going to initiate the dive. So as we're getting closer it's just about to touch now so the power comes back to idle, RPM comes back to minimum to prevent over speeding, extend the dive brakes and the airplane is going to automatically start bunting over. You can add some more forward pressure if you like just to keep it coming on down we're going to make sure we try and line up nice and straight on the target here. Now we're going to place that target building in the bottom part of the Revy. Wait for the horn to stop. Bomb release. And we can begin the recovery. So we'll pull up and retract those dive brakes. And increasing the RPM and then the throttle. This way we can get some altitude back and get away from the area. While still remaining evasive to hopefully avoid any AA that's going to shoot at us. And then we can open up those cow shutters to prevent the engines overheating. As we turn away, we take a quick peek and see the target's been destroyed. Now if you didn't want to initiate the dive system with the air brakes, then you press Ctrl D, and this will initiate the dive and the recovery manually. Um, so it's up to you if you want to do it in this way, but I prefer using the automatic method by deploying the dive brakes. As you see here, I will score a few hits on this building and the nearby train, uh, just simply because we drop these bombs at an interval. Now it's up to you how you want to set up your bombs depending on what your loadout's going to be. But dropping your bombs with an interval will allow you to hit multiple targets in one pass if that's what you want to do. That completes the tutorial for the Junkers 88 dive bombing using the contact altimeter. 
If you enjoyed it, be sure to share it with your friends and become a subscriber. And as always, don't forget to fly safe and always check six.